Well, hey, the team, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Citizen Sleeper. Uh, I've heard good things. It's been overwhelmingly well received. Um, and the blinder you go in, the better. I heard maybe it's got a Blade Runner sort of vibe going on. Maybe a bit more visual novel than I'm used to or, or lean toward. But hey, whatever, whatever. Let's see. Let's let's see what this is all about. Um, okay, new game. Sounds good. Grab a slot. Choose character class. Operator. An operator works with drones and high-precision remote machines to perform complex tasks from a distance. Okay. Sleepers uh, assigned to operator work uh, are usually cerebral and precise people. Yeah. Oh, hang on. What's going on here? Engineer. Work with machines and physical tools. Yeah. Oh, no pluses there. Interface. Work with digital interfaces. Uh, use strength or strength of will. Endure. Oh, yeah. Oh, minus one. Ugh. Uh, intuit. Approach problems with awareness. Maybe. Maybe not. Approach problems head on. Ooh. Okay, what else have we got? What else have we got? Extractor. Extractors work on resource extraction, often in hard vacuum environments. Sleepers assigned to extractor work. Uh, often confident, self-sufficient, and have a high level of endurance. Oh, yeah. Th this is absolutely going to be my, my jam, right? Endure, strength of will, and no awareness. But we'll, Oh, there's only two choices? Oh, there are going to be a bazillion. Oh, hang on, there's machinists. What is going on here? What's, what's a machine? It's bloody One Piece. Um, uh, not One Piece. What am I fucking saying? One Punch Man. One Piece, you dickhead. Oh, my God. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> uh, machinist repairs and modifies automated systems used in industrial uh, resource extraction. Sleepers assigned to a machinist work are usually diligent, careful, and structured people. Uh, approach problem. Uh, nah, yuck. Okay, we're going this. Extractor. Start game. All right, game. Blow me bloody socks off. Wow me. Let's go. I, I, I like the understated synth uh, sort of bloody vapor track. You know, little stings, little bits and bobs. I like. I do like that. We talk about this all the time on the channel. Ambient soundtracks are so underrecognized because if they're doing their job right, you don't notice. All right, what's this? Items data. Where are you? I know it. The first thing you became aware of on waking is the disconnect, the delay between thinking and feeling, between wanting to act and acting. Minor, almost imperceptible, but always present. Okay? Uh, it's at its worst when waking, when yourself has spent many dark hours recalling what it felt like to be real, to be a person, to be in a body that was indisputably yours. Think of that body. Now nah, fuck it, forget that body. It's in the past, moving forward. You resist nostalgia, yes. It is pointless, especially now. This is the moment you reach out, not uh, curl inwards. This is your moment of escape, even if it feels immediately like you traded one prison for another, smaller, colder, lifeless. Okay, this is all very airy fairy, but let's, let's persevere. I wouldn't call this bad writing. I just got to get myself in the mindset of sniffing my own farts to really understand the writer, right? Reach out. You almost laugh, or you would if there was room or even air to do so. The walls of the container are immediately present, cold, hard, at your back and face, cramping your limbs. It's like we're in Bender's apartment. There's a deep pull. You resist the desires to stretch, uh, knowing that the claustrophobia comes next and retreat a little from your central nervous system. It isn't painful, not like you used to know pain at least. Okay. In emergency mode, pain is message delivered with efficiency and ease. A reminder that harm is imminent. There is no insistent throb, no trembling nerves, just a warning delivered with the banal quality of a digital notification. Right now, there are thousands of them. Remember the plan. Remember the others. Gotta stick to the plan, baby. You mostly remember that it wasn't a good plan, but then your options were limited, and once you got the itch to get out by any means possible, it was either that plan or something much worse. It was at least simple. Collapse the shaft, drift away into the chaos, slip into cargo processing, seal yourselves into containers, 
then just hope the freighter left before you were missed. Okay, I'm seeing the sort of Blade Runner thing. I'm a robot trying to escape is, is what it feels like. This All this descriptive text is a bit... Like, I'm enjoying it, don't get me wrong. It's definitely outside my, my usual comfort zone. But it is reminding me of, say, like, uh, Disco Elysium. Maybe we should put that on the channel. We played a little bit. Some were lost in the shaft. Others never found the meeting point. Only a few made it to the containers. But the freighter, as far as you know, left. That feels like enough. Enough to know that you might no longer be on that grim and heartless rock. Even if in the airless hold of a freighter, you might freeze solid long before you reach any destination. Wait for the cold? Try to rest. Probably try to rest. That's a sensible move. But you were restless. It has been a long time since you left. Surely weeks, maybe months. You were duly, uh, dully, duly aware of damage. You were dully aware of damage to your legs, your right arm. You've been reserving energy as much as possible, but even then your body has shut many of its systems down to protect you. You've spent much of that time asleep, knowing that anything else would be impossible to endure. Mm, okay. You feel the weight of that impossibility begin to gather. It is time to sleep again, to nudge this false body into inducing delta waves in your emulated mind, and once again recoil into a dream of when you were once a person. Rest. Time passes. The cold creeps further in. You feel something. Warmth. Not true warmth, but the indication of its presence. Your joints receive uh, release from their rigor. Sound, too, everywhere, screeching and shimmering so loud that your body ducks your hearing to protect its senses. And then light, white as the cold. Then softer and softer until a haze of dirty yellow, a, uh, in a haze of dirty yellow, a figure appears. You are out. Oi, look at this, I'm bloody on the loose now. What is this? Oh, I've been tricked. I'm on a ring. I'm on a, I'm on a, I'm on a space station or some such. Oh, what's this? Dragos, pragmatic salvager. Oh, look at this, it's me nan. Or grandpa, I can't quite tell. Uh, it has been a few hours since Dragos pulled you from the container. You sit huddled in a corner of his scrapyard, swaddled in the reflective folds of a mylar blanket. You are slowly coming back to consciousness, but to life, or back to life. And you stare at the ornately curving element of an improvised heater. Okay. A pragmatic and private salvager. Right, oh, he's got a little robot on his shoulder. Little bloody man bag, and don't forget your water bottle. Very cool. Um, you are surrounded by angular, incoherent lumps of ships, some corroded beyond recognition, others still carrying glassy wounds along their edges where a plasma arc sliced them apart. As you trace their shapes with fogged eyes, or fogged eyes, I guess, sorry, you hear a voice. So, sleeper, are you thawed yet? Almost. Stay silent. I'll say almost. I'll engage. Never seen one of you come in like this. New frames must have been uh, must have better per per perseverance. Oh, I could have sworn it was going to be like preserve. Perseverance in Sub Zero Vac. Seen more than a few of your frozen of you frozen solid to hull plates or inside other locks in my time. Oh my god, I just destroyed that whole paragraph. Allow me again. New frames must have better perseverance in Sub-Zero Vac. Seen more than a few of you frozen solid to hull plates or inside outer locks in my time. They weren't so lucky. Uh, Dragos comes into focus, shrouded in makeshift tech. His head set with its glinting eyes, the mark of a drone operator. On his shoulder, one of his symbiotically linked drones perches, its irising eye locked, uh, locking you with an unflinching stare. Oh, okay, right. Last living sleeper that came through this yard was a while ago. They didn't last long. You struggle to read his expression beneath the tech, but he seems lost in memory for a moment. Or perhaps he is just figuring out what to do with you. I plan to survive. What happened to them? Stay silent. 
Let's let him think. I won't ask what led you to do it, to sell yourself to a corporation, and I suppose you can't go back. Your old body, that's theirs now, and you are just software. A rogue emulation, illegally possessing corporate property. Oh, okay. Jesus. You nod along. You remember biometrically signing the forms, the cold floor on your feet as you padded to the sleeper cells. The promise of a new life or a life off world. But as you do, you get the now familiar sensation that these aren't your memories. These are things you know, but not things that you feel. You are no longer that person. You are an offshoot. Poppy. Oh, okay. So I'm like a rogue clone of, of a sort of indentured citizen, I suppose, right? What you won't know is what's ahead. At least the last one didn't. There's no easy way to put it. That body of yours is falling apart. It's the same for any sleeper who makes it out. Essen Arp wants to protect their property. But if they can't keep hold of you, well, then no one can. Well, I understand the corporate interest, sure. You remember that too. Well, you remember that too. Or at least rumours of it from the other sleepers. Planned obsolescence, a built-in dependence on the regularly administered supplements that were part of your routine. Yeah, but this is something companies do with bloody washing machines. <laughs> you know, they, they design them so that they will actually fall to bits after a certain amount of time so as to be upgraded or replaced, right? I'm not saying it's right, but, you know, it's how it is. I'm not, I'm not that surprised if they manage to sort of commodify cloning that they wouldn't build in some sort of fail state like that. In fact, Blade Runner, that's covered, isn't it? Like, they could live longer, but they intentionally make the replicants die sooner as a control method for the company. Um, anyway, uh, stop taking them and your body begins to shut down. Separate from your emulated mind. How long has it been? How long do you have? Administered supplements. Okay, cool. But for now, sleeper, you are one of the lucky ones. Dragos glances up and away toward the glassy dome of the yard. The eye is the best place that you could be right now. The eye? The station. You'll see soon enough. Dragos impatiently shifts his weight. Look, I've got things to be getting on with. He trails off. There's an old freight container I've been using as storage out in the shacks, out in the stacks. We haven't been pulling in much valuable scrap these days, so you are welcome to it. Oh, okay. Something wells up inside you, emotion, fatigue. You shakily get to your feet and nod. All right, you head on up there. You look like you need some rest. And with that, Dragos stalks back into the wrecks, his drones already converging on a rustling hulk, plasma flashes silhouetting his spindly figures as he returns to work. Tutorial introduction. Welcome to Erlen's Eye. Life on the Eye runs in cycles, during which you can talk to characters, explore areas of the station and perform actions. At the end of each cycle, you need to head to your current home to rest. Resting will move time forward in, on the station. Head to the empty container located or location to rest and end the cycle now. All right. Empty container. Your home for now. Okay. Where's the empty part? I'm looking. I can't figure it out. Are these containers person size? I, I, I'm, I'm not getting a good grasp of scale. Uh, okay. All cycles need to end. Rest and prepare for the next one. End cycle. Okay. Okay. Well, color me curious. You wake up curled in the corner of the container and begin slowly assembling the world around you. After all this time, you still find this body, the one you wake in now, strange and disjointed. Its messages readable, but somehow wrong. You sit up, pulling the mylar blanket close against the cold. Here you are on this ruined station, millions of miles from anyone you know. Are you still in the system? Did any of the others make it out? It's impossible to know. After all this, what matters? Escape? Getting answers? 
building a life. That's got to be it. Forward. Maybe you did get lucky finding yourself here. Maybe here on the edge of everything, there's a life for you to build. But before you can build anything, you'll need to learn to survive. Maybe if you can do that, you can make a life for yourself. Dragos has left a few comforts in the container. The mylar blankets, the bedroll you slept on, a canister of water, a makeshift electric stove and some faded sachets of some desiccated powder. Uh, you thumb the power stud of the stove and begin to boil the water. This music's lovely. The contents of the sachets smell like damp wood and you sprinkle them into the liquid. Well, that doesn't sound tasty at all. As the pungent smell washes over you, images of your restless sleep come back to you. A ring, like the station, but skeletal and ghostly. A web of threads pulling at your skin. A constellation of bright polygonal shapes like angular suns burning into your mind. There's something unpleasantly visceral about these images, and it is long after you finish drinking that they begin to fade. Uh, you tidy away the stove as best that you can and try to gather enough energy to greet the day. So I'm, am I synthetic or organic or something in between? I don't know. Okay, condition, action, dice and energy. All right, the game begins. Your condition represents the current state of your artificial body. Well, I guess it's... We'll, we'll go with the replicant thing. So maybe I am sort of uh, artificial yet organic, right? So not strictly a robot. Uh, we sort of saw the characters at the beginning, right? Yeah, let's go with that for the moment. Your condition represents the current state of your artificial body. It depletes by one segment each cycle. Uh, okay, that's this up here, these pips, gotcha. But you can also be damaged by violence, injury, or lack of food. If your condition bar empties, you will suffer a breakdown. Oh, no good. No, basically a real life simulator. <laughs> You'll have to figure out how to recover your condition now that you no longer have access to corporate pharmaceuticals that were keeping you alive. All right, two is these action dice. At the start of each cycle, you roll your action dice. These dice can be used to perform actions on the station. The number of dice rolled is based on your current condition. The worse your condition, the fewer dice that you have. Right, so perhaps if we lost that, we'd lose a die. Do you, you sort of see what I mean? Maybe they're in concert. It's hard to tell. It looks like it lines up, like about four pips to one. Okay. Once you have used your dice, you cannot take any further actions and must rest to recover them, ending the current cycle, right? which in turn will drop our condition. You also need to eat to survive. This is represented by your energy bar. You can refill your energy bar by eating, but first you'll have to find somewhere to get food. Your energy depletes by two segments each cycle. If it becomes empty, you will be starving. When starving, your condition will also deplete at a double rate per cycle. Okay, simple enough, but that's fine. Simple can be good. All right, what have we got here? Data, items, cryo, cryptocurrency, stored in air-walled sticks of memory known as chits. Okay. Leave. Dragos is stood in the corridor when you close up the container. He is still wearing his headset and in the harsh light of the corridor you realise it is implanted. A drone sits on his shoulder, its cache of sensor eyes rapidly irising. How are you feeling? Ah, uh, okay. The drone chirps. Good to hear. You notice that beneath the operator's rig, his skin is marked by burns and blotches. I know the container isn't much, but it will keep you safe. He pauses. So, I'm not going to chit chat too long. You well enough to work? Yeah, absolutely, sure. All right then, he nods. Let's get on with it. At the yard, it's simple stuff. We hack these old hulls down, sell them off to the shipyards on the, or the bright market dealers for cryo. Occasionally we pull out some tech, Something with a bit more value, but most of what comes in is scrap. It's hard to find good hands here, but I figure as a sleeper, you'd be used to manual labour. And obviously, I'll slip you a few chits of commission based on what you turn up. Yeah, okay, got it. That sounds reasonable. Got to earn your way out. He shuffles his feet nervously. Look, I wouldn't usually do this. In my opinion, you'd be best suited moving on as quick as you can and sleep as well. He trails off. 
but things being the way that they are for me at the yard, he pauses. I need the help. Hey, look, I'm happy to, man. Happy to. I'm not going to pry. Okay. He pauses, thinking of something else to add. Look, just come down to the yard when you get when you are feeling fresher. There's plenty to do. Will do. He nods distractedly and turns and walks away, the drone hopping along ahead of him. See you later, he calls back. Okay, one hand washes the other. We both need help. Sure. Looks like it's time to get to work. Oh, look, is that a little car? That's cool. Fine. A little space car. How far around this ring can I go? What's this? Low end gate. Now, can I use Wazda? I can. Okay, that's cool. Right. Right. Dragos's yard and the empty container. All right, well, let's start at the beginning. Decaying scrap yard. All right, actions. Actions are the primary way that you interact with the world of Citizen Sleeper. To perform an action, click and drag your chosen action dice to the slot. Uh, yep. Hull dissection. Right, I see there. <clears throat> Risky. Cool. Actions reward you with clock progress, energy, condition, or items, depending on their outcome. There are three types of outcome. Positive is yellow, right? Better than expected. Uh, succeeds is neutral and fails. Uh, action dice affect these outcomes as follows. So 100% chance, 50-50, good or passable. Right, okay. 50-50, good or outside of it, right? Oh, and 50-50 fail. Right, I see. I see. Okay, we'll have to try and remember that. Though the symbols seem pretty self-explanatory. Actions display information about their type, risk, level, and the skill that the modifiers they apply to the action. Right. Either critical or repeatable. Critical actions are only performed once. All right, I see. Repeatable there. Risky. Oh, risk is either safe, risky, or dangerous. Safe. No loss of condition, energy, or cryo. Negative outcome means cryo or energy loss. And danger. Negative outcome means condition loss. Neutral outcome can mean uh, cryo or energy loss. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, cool. This is a lot to remember, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, skill. Endure. Inge All right, we remember these skills. The skill that this action requires, either engineer interface, endure, intuit, or engage. Um, either minus one, zero, plus one, or plus two. This is added to the action dice when slotted. Yep, okay, and some actions require a plus one to perform. All right, taking notes. Here we go. All right, so this is it. Cycle clock. Oh, that's the cycle clock. I don't know what that means there. Okay. So we can do hull dissection or manual salvage. Safe and risky. And I have endure as well. Okay. And these are 50-50s, right? Right. It's going to take some time to sort and cut your way through the towers of salvage, but you are no stranger to hard labor. Even the rustiest hull can hide valuable components and materials. Extracting them means cutting carefully and skillfully. Well, what if we put our big die in there and the plus one? Okay, so it gives you a printout of how it's going to go. It puts it to safe. Now, can I replace it easily like that? Fifty-fifty. Right, so that's not enough to push this die over to a guaranteed success, right? And then, for example, if I did this, risky. Right. Can I do both of them? No, I can't. Okay, so I think the smart move is probably this, right? Right? Start action. Let's go. Working. Come on. Give me good news. Here we go. Tutorial clocks. Action often progresses clocks. Here we go. I see that. Clocks are displayed below the actions that fill them, and they track your actions and how they affect the world. Filling a clock means something good or bad is about to happen. Some clocks, such as the one tracking Dragos's debt, um, 
are cycle clocks. These clocks tick themselves once each cycle and complete without the player input. Oh, okay, so this, it's like a doom timer, I suppose. Um, any active cycle clocks will be displayed on the icon for that location. Okay, continue. Back in business, every salvager knows they're always just one lucky haul away from the next payday. Oh, okay, so this would be essentially a good turn. Okay, cool. And then this is a cycle clock that I have no control over. Right, I see. Uh, what did I get? Oh, okay, I got cryo because the thing popped up so I didn't see it. Now this, 50-50. Fifty-fifty. Oh, it's much of a muchness, except this one's riskier, right? Um, I think we do this, right? That's probably the move. Drives and navigation. In Citizen Sleeper, you will unlock drives as you discover more about yourself and the world. Drives guide you in pursuing specific objectives depending on which path you wish to take. You can track drives and any tracked drive will place a yellow marker on locations that will help you pursue your goal. Oh, I thought you meant like a hard drive. I think drive is a compulsion, what drives you. Access your drive menu, right? Drives and navigation. You're now free to explore Erlen's Eye and make a life for yourself here. Try tracking a drive to help you survive. Look for food to keep your energy up and way to recover condition. Fill clocks to progress stories and find new opportunities. Remember to end cycle at your home when you are out of dice. Okay. Mouse wheel thingo and rotate the view. Okay. Back in business went up and we got 10 cryo. Okay. Okay. Find a doctor. So we've got repay him. Find a doctor. Okay. Data. Where's my... Is this my drive menu? Oh, yes, it is. Okay. Total tracking. Help pay off Dragos' debt. Oops. Survive track okay so I can just press leave oh look at this I can turn the camera okay that's kind of sweet all right so we've got all sorts of cool stuff going on here so what's this shipyard okay uh, there's Dragos's yard with the cycle clock Rotunda wet dock, dock C tack 4. Rotunda, old dock terminal. Uh, dock B tack 2. Oh, bright markets. Bustling open market. I'm assuming that this is part of my drive, so let's go have a look here. Okay, cool. Um, okay, ask for directions. Why wonder when there are hundreds of people that live and work within the bright market? All you need is the courage to approach them. Oh, I don't know about that. Explore the market. The smells, sounds, and buzzing activity of bright market makes it a dizzying place to wander, but an enticing one too. Yeah, but like minus one in Chewit. 50-50 negative. Yeah, it's risky, isn't it? And then that's danger as well. Um, okay, can I just press escape? No, like Q or E, and I have to click leave. Okay. Rotunda wet dock. Let's have a look here. What's this? Salvage sortie. It takes several cycles to reach the stalwart belt and return, loaded with scrap from the old wrecks. I don't know if I can do anything here. Right? What about this? Helion Crossing. Merchants willing to run the gauntlet of the Helion system are rare, but those always return eventually. Okay, so when this cycle clocks, they'll rock up and dock, or they'll depart, I suppose, right? Rotunda. And what's this? Steel dock plans? Oh, geez, that's dangerous. 
Um, Heaven Edge Security have to have plans. Stealing them would be the fastest way to get to know this place and the most dangerous, right? Doc Watcher. Getting to know the Rotunda doesn't just mean new places to visit. It means keeping your eyes on new arrivals. Explore the Rotunda. Oh, okay. And that clocks this as well. Heaven Edge Watch List. Heaven Edge run the Rotunda and their security watches the docks. Better to avoid attracting their attention. Filled with passageways and concourses leading to all kinds of docking bays. This is really interesting. All right, what else is... What else is there that was down here, this, this shipyard? Assist a shipbuilder. Uh, you don't have any connections, but you do have skills. You can get a shipbuilder to notice them. If you can get a shipbuilder to notice them, you might be in. Okay. Yard hand. The only way to get to know the shipyard is to work there. No tourists here. As a newcomer, you can only gain favor by grabbing a load of materials and asking the nearest yard hand where to take them. Hall materials endure. 50-50. Oh, okay. Here's my plus one. I'm going to give this danger, but we're going to give it a go. Oh, something bad can happen on neutral, can't it? Fuck it, let's go. i got to do something. Minus energy. Ah, plus yard hand. Okay, cool. Oh, is that all I got? I didn't get any money or anything like that? Mm, shit. Okay, cool. Cool. I'm, I'm going to starve. That's not good. Um, okay. Here, let's do some manual salvage. Fifty-fifty. Let's just do that. Plus five cryo. Negative outcome. I still got cryo though. Okay, cool. Cool. And then I go back to my back to my house and have a nap, basically. Alright, well look, we need to stop there because I'm I'm I've run out of time. And I guess we can go up to this other gate as well. We need food and ah, and I think we get dice back. This is so good. I really like this. It's different. It it is pushing up against the the sort of visual novel, the walking sim. Um, which I don't mind, right? As long as there's an attempt at some sort of gameplay there, right? I don't want to just watch a slideshow or Netflix because, funny that, I could do that. I could go read a book or something. Um, no, this is good. It's it's definitely gameplay light. And the, the storytelling and all that definitely uh, borders on kind of fart sniffy, right? Um you know, up its own ass a little bit, but I don't mind, to be honest. I've got time for that. Seems well written. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. Uh, it's not really be brow beating or anything like that. It's just a bit overly verbose. Uh, but we'll see how we go. Anyway, let me know if you want to see some more team, because I'd love to, I'd love to play some more. I, I'm really curious where this rabbit hole goes. Team, we might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.